Hey YouTube, I'm Roy, a UI designer based in the UK and in this video I'm going to share three tips to create a large set of textiles in Figma fast. What you can see from here is they have a very large type scale and if you go into each of these they have a leading, they have a specific line height so for example uh, if you have a large, a large uh, font size you want to have the line height a bit tighter so they got three main specifics on here they have the line heights they have the font weight and of course the font size and they have quite a few textiles so imagine if you had to create this one by one that would take forever the simplest solution is just to duplicate this file where is the fun in that it would be nice to figure out the process and if you're curious just to find out how to do this quickly and why would you need to do a large type scale? You may have a specific naming convention or you need specific text styles. We are going to create styles. We're going to have a naming convention. We're going to have different weights. We're going to use auto layout to organize. And then we're going to duplicate. And then there's going to be a plugin that we're going to rename. The last bit, and I hope you stay to the end, is we're going to generate the styles with another plugin. So to kick this off, I'm going to go to a fresh new page. I'm just going to call this type scale. And I just hit the T tool. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to have a naming convention. And this is going to be the textile names as well. So I'm going to say FS hyphen 16 for font size 16 slash line height 24 slash normal so that's font weight normal so as a guide you've got font font size and then line height and then font weight and in terms of the tight scale we are going to go with multiples of 8 so you've got 16 24 32, 40, 48, 56, 64, and 72. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we got 8 sizes, and we have this naming convention here. So just to kick it off, we already have 16 and 24 that I already did. So now what we want to do is make this into an auto layout. So Shift A. And then from there, we just have to go in and let's say we duplicate this. So let's say five times, two, three, four, five. And we want this to stack and we want the spacing to be, let's say 16. And this just to get rid of the spacing all around to zero. Okay. So what we're going to do here is we're going to say this one is actually going to be a different font weight. So what we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, we want that to be light. We want this one to be medium, this one to be semi bold, and then this one to be bold. So we got light, we got regular, and we have medium semi bold and bold okay so this bit we have to start we have to do a bit of typing so we can call this light normal then medium and then semi bold and then bold okay so we already have the line height we have the font weight for each one and for this frame, we're just going to label this FS16. Okay, great. So now what we want to do is we just want to start duplicating. So if I hit Command D, and what we also want to do is to put these two in an auto layout because we want to organize it better. So Shift A, and we're going to space them 40. Okay, that's fine. So this one here, we actually want this to be the one above so we want that to be 24 so if we go in here and then you can hit enter to select everything inside which is a really nice quick one and I want to say all of these are going to be 24 
and the nice thing is they're persisting with the font weights but the line height we actually want to go up to let's say 32 or if that's a bit too much let's say let's say 28 shall we okay there we go so we have font size 24 and again we just command D and the next one up is going to be 32 so in here again we just hit enter and we want this to be 32 and we want the line height to be 40 lovely here we just command D again this one we want that to be 40 we hit enter we want that to be 40 a line height of 48 nice and then again we just duplicate we just keep doing it we hit enter we're now going up to 48 and we're now going up to 56 line height again multiples of 8 and where are we getting to now I'm losing track so we are on 32 40 48 so I'll just change that to 48 and this one command D again we're now up to 56 hit enter we want that to be 56 and we want that to be let's say let's say 64 command D that again this one is going to be 64 we hit enter we want that to be 64 with a line height of 72 and we command D that for our very last one 72 we hit enter we go in we say 72 with a line height of 80 nice so command dot we will remove the UI and now we've what we've done we just very quickly uh, duplicated and created a nice um, type scale so this one here is actually gone up so what we have to do is we have to hit command dot just to bring up the menu so we hit enter command forward slash and the plugin that you need to get is called change text so when we go to change text we just click on that and in here we need to then rename so fs hyphen 16 forward slash lh24 so we actually want to rename that to fs hyphen 24 slash lh32 if we update you can see now it straight away did the magic however the line height i actually said it's uh 28 so let's just actually do that now since i'm here so we're going to make it 32 nice same thing again we just repeat the process so enter command forward slash get this plugin called change text hit enter again we're just going to search for fs 16 i might as well copy that actually so fs hyphen 16 forward slash lh24 we might as well copy that because we can reuse that for all the others so now it's gone up to fs 32 with a line height of 40 and then update great so this one we enter as a reminder it's 4048 command forward slash change text we search for this and just paste that in as well and now we're going up to 40 and 48 Ooh. update nice so again we just go here enter this is 48 and 56 change text put that there put that there and it's a line height of 56 and a font size of 48 you hit update again we've done that there hit enter 56 and 64 here we paste that we paste that again so the line height is 64 and the font size is 56 pixels update nice so again here forward slash change text and here we paste it and now it is going to be a line height of 72 with a font size of 64 
update and then we're on to the final one enter command slash change text we paste that we are matching the values again we're going to line height of 80 and then 72 and then update great now we've got all of these lovely textiles and I just need to make the gap bigger let's say 100 so the magic hopefully you've stayed till the end and very excited to see this part so here what you have to do is you go to this frame and you can call this frame type scale and then you just have to hit enter and enter again that selects everything inside those frames command forward slash and then what you need to what the plugin that you need to get is called styler and if this doesn't appear when you install it you just have to restart figma and what we need to do is generate styles so if i click that you can see it's done the magic it's created 40 so then here the beautiful thing now is you can see this has now created all the styles that we just did so i hope you enjoyed this video please leave a like leave a comment subscribe hit the bell and i'll see you in the next video